Hello friends and welcome back to the class. Let's get on to the tutorial immediately. Now we are going to be talking about procurement of the old chicks. Procurement of ducks. So, before going in uh, before going for duck, you need consult other poultry practitioners who has been into brooding for a while. Just as I told us before, <coughs> they will clarify you of the best hatchery to patronize. Buy the best quality chicks recommended. You can also reach some dairy integrated farms limited for any further uh, clarification on this. They will direct you. You can also book from them and they will they will sell to you. You also have hatcheries also. Their hatchery, uh, some do integrated farms hatchery does very well. So converse of day old chicks, converse of day old chicks. Depending on the distance covered, the means of conveying day old chicks must be properly planned to ensure that they arrive the farm site with minimal stress and no or less mortality. It means they may not even die. There might be no casualty at all. A well aerated vehicle is recommended for transportation of chicks. So, do not load chicks in car boots or seed vehicles without adequate supply of fresh air. So, if you are if you are conveying your day old chicks, or if somebody is bringing them for you, make sure you tell them, or make sure you take adequate. Uh, and make sure you take uh, adequate measures, and don't load your day old chicks in your car boot, where when the car boot is being closed or see totally no you have to accept you have ac in your car if you have quality ac in your car then you can lock them up in the car boot or at the back of your car seat okay so any car you are loading them should be should be a car that has good uh, aeration system so as in uh, there should be good supply of air okay there should be much ventilation if possible if you're even packing them at the back of your car seat you should open the glasses that's if your ac is if you don't have quality ac you should open your glasses wind down your glasses if you're putting them in the boot make sure the boot is not totally locked can just use something to wedge the boot from getting locked when you are on transit. Okay. <clears throat> Do not worry about feeding the chicks within 12 to 24 hours of their <clears throat> newly hatched periods if you are still on transit. Because they already have food reserved in their bodies from where they can draw for for the next 24 to 48 hours so when you are driving do not be driving so speedy or be in a haste so they will eat no they don't even need the food if let's assume they were hatched yesterday and you and and they are giving it out to you today don't bother that they are hungry no they are not even even when they did not see food they will still stay they can still stay till tomorrow, next tomorrow, that is even till the next three days. So don't bother the, uh, being in a haste to feed them. Just take your time, drive down to the farm and take your time, count them and after everything, you can then feed them. Okay, so what they need most is ventilation during transportation to so transport chicks in the morning or evening hours 
Avoid conveying chicks under high sun. Avoid unnecessary stopovers on your way to the farm. Use the shortest route to avoid delays. So if you have any shortest route, that's when, if the reason for this is, if the chicks are so many that, that they were somehow jam-packed in the car, you need to find a short a short a short road to get to the farm on time but if they have enough space for ventilation don't bother yourself take your time and drive down to the farm so that is it for procurement of day old chicks thank you very much and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye